got some rumblers. We got some rumblers. you today ladies and gentlemen friends and enemies this is chubbs coming at you second day in a row i've been here this is the uh street nationals summer street nationals minnesota street nationals. i'll get it figured out but it's saturday and it's about 11 show is just starting up we're gonna get in here, we're gonna see some awesome cars. We'll get back with you. Sweet. To punish and enslave. That was impressive. Wide body Mustang. So today is gonna to be packed. And again, people are getting there early because you want to acclimate to the weather. It's gonna be pretty darn hot here today. Dad got out of his car and wasn't paying attention because he was about Riker's age. When I'm talking hot, it's about 90. It's gonna be 90. Ooh. I like that. I like that GTX. Oh, look at the black. Ooh, really clean. Mm, nice paint job. Three, four hundred ninety five horsepower, fifty two Nash, fifty two Nash. Look at these crazy animals. Oh, my, it's its whole own. Pumpkin color. Thank you. Two tone, beautiful car. Beautiful Thank car. I can answer any questions you got about it. Not very common. I don't see too many of them. Nope. Not too many running around. 1952. Yep. Did you do any fabrication on this, or is it just this is a, so these wheel? It's just like the other side of it. Okay. The, All this. We made three changes. Okay. We, uh, we recessed the license plate. It used to be on bumper ends. Sure. Yep. We uh, changed the trim around the bottom. That used to have grooves in it. Okay. We wanted to smooth, match the car. Sure. And we notched out the bumpers for the car. That's it. Okay. So that's you did that. Okay. Beautiful. Really sharp. The color combination is really nice too. Kind of interesting when you tell them you're going to paint your car green. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah, it'll be And then what's this color inside? It looks kind of pumpkin? Brown leather? Okay. Oh, yeah, no, it's not as pumpkin. These glasses screw it up. What is that for a motor? Yeah, actually. Nice. It's a couple C8s here. I like it, I like it. I've seen these. I haven't seen this clear cover. Oops. Yeah. These are new, unique, really nice. This fun. Okay. 
Okay, unique. El Camino. Old, old, old. Old, old. There's a sign down there. Look at that window. Shoo! Very nice. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, 59 El Camino. Ooh, four speed. Wow, hot dash. Nice. You don't get much on the exotics at this one. There's a Ferrari. I think it's an older one here. I looked in there like I was going to see an odometer on there. <laughs> but then they got all kinds of stuff Tremec transmissions, engines. The show has got a little bit of everything you might want to see. And again, a couple exotics. Not too many of them are here. Aston Martin, yeah, this is a nice one too. Another exotic. Another $200,000 car, I'm sure. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, 120000 Okay, let me just write you a check here real quick. Can't pass up the signs here for everybody. Big clocks, two year warranty, 10 signs, 40. Hey, doing garage. Yes, yeah, sir, 350. 285s up top. Again, just giving you a little quick little run through. I would love to have some of these. Okay. Nice. Okay, me, Stingray. Beauty, 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 beauty. over to the CP200. Those are original. All right. They were actually in the Every everything on this car served Except for the chrome bracket fuel filter. That's the only swing on the whole car. Because I, I made that. Chaos. How'd you like to be on this line? Look at all the... Obviously yesterday was the prerequisite to this because this is packed. This place is jumping everybody. Jumping. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Kenny Bell. Coyote. Yeah. On the other side. Yeah. Why? Why so much power? GT500, 2010, fully built engine, 2.2. Oh! This yours? Uh, it's his, he's parking it, so for okay. about five minutes, he's just helping a guy park. Sweet. How many horsepower? I saw I really, do you know? Um, I don't know if it's up today, and I know a couple years ago it was 1136. What? Wheel. <laughs> up to the rear wheel. What? The guy right there in the, with the blue hat, you can go ask him. Okay. Oh my god. 1100. Something to the rear wheel. This is chaos. This is total chaos right here. We got that in yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was all sounds and sights, sights and sounds. There was no talking to it.
pure chaos today, folks. Pure chaos today. Hang on, I gotta flip my screen off so I can see what I'm looking at here. Oh yeah, I can hear this guy whistling. Like their chrome, they like their chrome. Yes, they do. We saw this yesterday. This is in the sights and sound video from yesterday. yesterday or not. Look at this thing. Just totally slammed to the ground. Beautiful. Oh, oh watch out. Big boy coming through. Holy shit. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, it's a crazy, crazy world of cars and trucks and kids and wagons and scooters. And scooters and scooters. I've seen this one before. This is this is big power. Big power roll cage craziness. Let's go put this thing on the dyno. Oh my god, watch out! Watch out, watch out. Skrilla. Look at this with the offsets. Oh, oh my god. Yes, Shoot. Like I was trying to say, I don't know if I got it out. This is going to be the talked in version, the chit chat, the uh, talk to people about their builds rather than just a sights and sounds video. So if you're looking for just a sights and sounds video, go to yesterday's, Friday's video. This is Saturday's. This is going to be chip chabby, interviewee, talk a lot, chub style. Oh, I have to, it's the crying. Oh my god, that's a lot of motor. Custom one off intake manifold system 33 high rod. Yeah. With a lot, a lot of my motor here, people. Well, no, I, I, I kind of went under a parking lot right there. Edge cam, it's called? Edge cam? Yeah. I designed it solid with some new edge cam for the machine. Okay. Nice. Nice job. 
F-149 Ford, F-149 Ford, murdered out, black on black on black on black on black. Forty big block pistol grip seventy three Dodge Challenger pistol grip. Tight. This is very tight in here. I don't know if I can handle this without being a little claustrophobic. Jesus. Unbelievable. 2013 FRS. I like all the work. A lot of work went into this. I applaud you on that.
Mach 1. Nice. I think we found ourselves the rally. Space needles running anymore. I think I was the last ride on that bitch. Then they locked her down. I think they deemed her unsafe after I rode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Six, eighty-three. Wow. Okay. Where'd your dad go? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Cheese curd tacos. I don't want any cheese curd tacos. Here's this goddamn picnic table thing again. This Gen 5 is pretty mean. This guy was at Cars and Coffee, got him leaving. He was stuck behind uh, something, so he couldn't really open her up.
to Dane. That's unique. I like it. I like it. It's getting there. That's old school cop car. Hey, it's shark bait. Shark bait. Shark bait. How are ya? <laughs> yes, sir. We got him in a few videos. Yes, we do. Feel the ground shaking right now next to this thing. Ground shaker, definitely ground shaker. That crazy, uh, crazy chick from Cars and Coffee video circling the block, getting a little naughty. She was also rally crossing earlier. I think I got some of that. What do we got? We got ourselves a little rally, little Jimmy Rallyers. As long as we're here, we might as well get this, uh, this packed as shit um, dino. Dino. <laughs> Let's go see what the guesses are on this monster. <laughs> it's pretty cold. Somebody went 900. I forget his name, but his wife.
was in track mode. Gosh, it's Marcus Glass and Matt Vet Matt. Vet Matt Matt Matt. Hi guys. I've seen SRT God be on the lookout for SRT. Oh, is he God. here? He finally made an event this year? You bet, yeah. We haven't seen that guy all year. I don't know what the hell his problem is. I've seen him on YouTube all the Oh yeah, day. I see his videos popping up. out 69 charger with a new a new uh, engine here's old Yanko again look at this charger now with the new Hellcat engine you gotta be kidding me $200,000 for make offer <laughs> nice, very nice. So this is what that Charger engine bay should look like. The old 446 pack. I got that one, and that was like 1,100 to the to the wheels. I didn't. I did come over and get this, but I don't know what the horsepower is on this one. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah, I wouldn't want to let everybody know either. Yeah, I can't even. You, you can just imagine what this thing's pushing. It's got to be over a thousand. Over these. Okay, so give me one second here. Oh yeah. So that, 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 and that, and this.
sirree. This is like the king of it. This looks like looks like prime real estate. And this car is prime. Yes, look at the originality. So it's not the compression like kicking it down? Yeah, because there's not, it's no, it's not pushing the piston. Little baby Mazda RX-7s. Yes, a whole fleet of them. Hmm, wow. The reason why over here is for these two rides. What do we got here? We got Vet Matt's. Vet with his new Pro Charger on there, pushing 635 horsepower now, I believe he said. 600. 638 rear wheel horsepower, torque 562. What an improvement. Very nice, Matt. Very nice. We got Marcus here. See video. on YouTube. You get him advertising. Looking good. Looking good, you too. Oh my god, they're right here! Christ, I didn't even want to see ya. But now I gotta see them. No. So this is what a stock 2012 Corvette engine looks like. Okay. And that's the heavily modified 2012 uh, okay. engine. So I saw that. What did yeah. what did you do with your other one? Or you have both? No. I got rid of the white one. Okay, you got rid of the white I one. Traded it in for this black 2012. So I stepped up from 2006 to 2012. Okay, very nice. I have wider fenders now. Yeah. For better styling going down the road. The, uh, is this considered a wide body? Yes. Okay, because they call them wide bodies now and then, and I don't know. So there's one that that isn't as fat. Yeah, it's like the Grand Sport. Yes. And the uh, Z06. Both yes. have the wider fender on there, and the ZR1 oh. has a wider fender. But okay. the stock one, almost like the fender goes like right here. Yes, yes. Because I hear them talking about wide body or wide, and I just don't know what they're talking about because it looks like it, but it doesn't look like it, like yeah. the ones I know. In so. Chevrolet, they just, well, I don't know, that, you know, it's considered a wide body style. But yeah. It's not like Dodge Challengers, where they're like calling yeah. it a wide body. Yeah. So that's the okay. marketing term that Dodge uses to describe their Perfect. stuff. Perfect. But Corvette really doesn't use the term wide body. Totally understand you, sir. How's that pizza? Pizza man, great. <laughs> 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 here that's enough for me on a Saturday this place is packed I'm gonna get home and put this video together for you guys it was a great show here yesterday here today gonna be here tomorrow again just love this love this stuff He's like, well, I need you. I need you.